Hey, what's going on guys? Naxville363 making a video on all the different launchers as well as different themes you can put on your phones. Alright, so I have loaded up here your stock launcher that comes on any device that's Android uh, 2.3, 2.2, any of the Boost mobile devices. This is what you're going to get. You will get your five basic home screens, no customization at all besides where you put all of your applications and your widgets and your applications are just a simple up and down scrolling and that is it not much not much you can really do with it besides really change the background move a couple things around next one I'm going to cover is launcher 7 now what launcher 7 is is it is very basic there's really not much to it I personally don't like it, but this is what your Windows, uh, what your Windows phones look like. I mean, it has a pretty cool interface. I like that feature about it. I mean, you can change the colors. Like, come stock, it will have green and it'll have your music and video, and you can either scroll or hit the arrow and this just lists all of your applications in alphabetical order once again uh, if you want to move something around you can you can delete you can edit one thing I did notice though like say for example for your messaging now you can set these for your messaging I don't use the stock application I use Chomp and for internet I use Dolphin HD browser I don't use the stock internet browser that comes with your boost mobile device I just don't care for it so that's why but I mean you can have them sync to whichever program you use so when I tap on messaging uh, this will be my first time so therefore it'll bring me to the regular stock messaging as opposed to Chomp however the little prompt box will pop and like I said you can edit these um, it's very basic if you are not really into having a bunch of home screens that you like to just be able to get to your applications immediately like make a phone call check a text message uh, hit, hit the internet browser listen to music anything along those lines without having to worry about going through home screens going through app drawer or anything along those lines then I recommend it the reason why I think this one would benefit me the most particular is when I'm driving obviously um, it's pretty easy it's hard to miss whichever application or prompt you are trying to make your phone access as opposed to the other I find that when I'm trying to drive or something along those lines that if I need something really quick in an emergency instance just tap on phone you don't have to oh, okay uh, I'm gonna go with this and then tap on the wrong application something opens up that you don't want to open so therefore I think that that's why this Windows 7 launcher, um, I think that that's the benefit of this one. It's very basic. I have covered this in my other video, but if you haven't seen my other videos, there it is. So that is that particular launcher. Now in my previous video, I did cover how to make your ZTE warp look like the iPhone. And a couple of people recommended this launcher to me, and it's free. Obviously, that's the best part about it and to me this is much better looking so if we tap on it I already have it loaded up for the most part all of your applications look really nice I do and that's the one thing you will see with a lot of themes and different launchers are they do alter the appearance of your applications obviously this one being making it look like the iPhone there is no longer an app drawer all of your applications will be and that's pretty decent too. I like that. It's just like your eye, your eye touch or your iPhone, where it has the search when you scroll all the way to your left. The bad, I guess it's not even really a bad thing, but you will have to go through your settings and preferences and 
right here where it says application access application hide you will have to hide the applications that you will not be using or you do not want on your home screens obviously I only have what not even two pages when I first downloaded this I had about six or seven pages because it had a lot of applications that I did not need on my home screen still there's a lot on here that I don't really need but I didn't want to just simply show you guys one page I wanted to scroll through them now the wallpapers that do come with this launcher understand that every launcher has their own specific wallpapers that they do have oops and they do give you they give you this one and then the water drop one so if you want to make it I, there you go now it'll really look like it. The last one I had on there was from my Honeycomb Go Launcher theme. So I do like this a lot. I think that this does give it a better look than my previous video on how to make your ZT Warp look like the iPhone. The reason why I think this one's better is based on the fact that I think that they synced a lot more applications. So they gave it the actual iPhone look like your changes your calendar, camera, calculator, maps all your stock applications basically now this will not guarantee all the other applications that you download as you can see the Twitter is not going to be the same root explorer because there is no root explorer for the iPhone or Zedge you know just little things but YouTube obviously all those icons will match up overall uh, I do like this one, however, I always find myself reaching down looking to hit my app drawer as opposed to just scrolling from screen to screen, which obviously gets, you have to get used to it because I use so many different launchers that that's why. So now let's move on to the best one. And I saved the best for last. Probably one of the more talked about launchers is Go Launcher EX. It is noted for using a lot of battery and a lot of memory. However, I think it's worth it because of the fact that it allows a lot of customization to your phone. And it also gives you the option to add a lot of home screens if 5 is not enough for your phone. And all you have to simply do for that is just flick up and just tap on the add and it will add home screens. And with Go Launcher, that is how I am able to have the 3D or cube look. And you can have the cube look on any of the themes that are offered in the marketplace. Also, there are just thousands and thousands of themes that are available in the marketplace for Go Launcher EX. I do not like ADW Launcher, which is why I'm not reviewing it. Now there is a lot to talk about when it comes to themes so I will add that in a different video but out of all the launchers that are made for Android this is probably I would have to say that this is my particular favorite one and this is the one that I mostly use and like I said the basis of my decision is even though it does use battery and memory I like the whole customization look on your phone because that's what makes your phone different from everyone else's. If everyone had the same phone, well, to me that's boring. I like to have mine so when somebody is playing around with my phone, it gives that wow factor where people are, are like, oh, how did you do that or how did you do that? So once again, check out my other video and I will cover all the themes that I downloaded. I downloaded probably about 20 of them and I will cover probably only like five or six of them because I really didn't find a lot of them all that neat but out of the ones that I did like I will make sure I cover for you guys so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and feel free to check out my other videos that I have on the phones and also just wanted to cover this is my new case that I put on my LG marquee um, if you guys are interested in ordering cases for your any of your Boost Mobile or Virgin Mobile devices, I will put my friend who owns a Boost Mobile shop, I will put his uh, Twitter account. Tweet him if you're interested in buying anything. Thanks.